Well, the odds are pretty high that if you've come across this video, you've probably got a phone that looks very similar to one of the three sitting in front of me here. And that's because this video is going to walk you through the setup of the Yealink T20 series IP phones. Hi, this is Chris, and thanks for watching. I'm with Accent, and we're going to walk you through a quick setup today of the Yealink T20 series IP phones. Got a couple of those phones in front of me here. Got the T29, the T22, and the T26. And as I mentioned moments ago, uh, really this setup video will cover all three models and any of the other T20 series as well. The interface is very similar. We're going to go through SIP registration and uh, set up with a, a SIP uh, phone system or a SIP cloud service provider. In this instance, we're going to be using the Voice One Connect Cloud and we're going to be registering the T26 uh, phone here. It's the one that we've got plugged in and uh, we'll walk through registration and account setup and then uh, you'll see the phone register as we go through those steps. Before we get started and we get into the phone interface, I want to thank you for watching and if you feel inclined, give this video a like or share it with your friends and colleagues. You can even subscribe to our channel for more VoIP setup videos, configuration, uh, demonstrations, and uh, walkthrough videos. We've got a, a lot of uh, different uh, content out there in the VoIP services and communications realm. So uh, we'd uh, you appreciate it if you stop by and, and check out our, our YouTube channel. You can also uh, visit www.accentvoice.com if uh, you'd like to learn more about Accent and our cloud services. So uh, with that, uh, just the, uh, the difference here in the T20 series uh, briefly. Uh, the T29 is your, uh, your higher end T20 series uh, color display phone. Uh, the T26 is a mid range. Uh, the, it's a little bit of an older model. And the T22 is a smaller uh, entry level device, which is uh, a bit older as well. The T29 is, is newer. I'll hold that up for everybody. The, uh, the 26 and the 22, as I mentioned, are a bit older. And um, if you've got uh, one of these two devices here, odds are you've had these for a while or you, maybe you purchased them on eBay or, or from, a, um, from a reseller and you're looking to get these set up. We're going to do that today. Um, just to quickly show you the T22 here. And then our 26, which is unregistered. You can see right here, we're going to register that phone today. Let's get over to the interface and get these things set up. All right, so we're in front of our computer now, and one of the things you want to make sure you've got is the IP address of your phone. It's the local address, and ours is 172.22.130. We're just going to throw that in our browser, and we're presented with the login screen for the T26 phone. You can see it's the right model. And the default username and password, if your phone is factory defaulted, are going to be admin and admin. So just enter those into the device, so excuse me, the browser, hit confirm, and then we're logged into the phone. You're going to be presented with the status page at first, and the status page shows you some basic information about the phone, firmware and hardware version, IP address, local information, etc. Not stuff that we're too terribly interested in right now. What we are interested in is the account tab. Click on the account tab and we're going to configure account one. Should be pretty straightforward for us. Uh, we're going to be uh, first off just giving this account a label and uh, our extension today is going to be 3403, 43403. Uh, we're going to use that as the label and the display name. Now from here, uh, this information is going to be specific to your phone system or your cloud service. If you're using a cloud service like we are today, we're using the Voice One Connect cloud service, which uh, uh, those credentials come directly from the cloud uh, provider. So uh, our register name is going to be specific to our cloud service here, along with our username as well, and those are actually the same. And uh, you're going to get your password from your cloud service provider as well. If you're using an on-premise PBX, you're going to get that information from your on-premise PBX also. You might be using a remote PBX. It's going to come from your, tele uh, your telephone system administrator or the vendor that you're working with. Make sure you've got that info or this will be a fruitless effort. 
So I've entered the password. Some uh, systems refer to it as the SIP secret. Uh, it's critical to make sure that you have that. That paired with the username and sometimes even the MAC address of the phone is what it takes to register a phone to a PBX, a SIP phone, excuse me, to a PBX or a cloud service. So we've got our account information. The last thing we need here is the SIP server. We're going to configure SIP server one. And that's going to be today, connect.accentservices.com. Now this is for our Voice One Connect cloud platform. It's what's called a DNS address, and it's resolvable on the internet. And being a cloud service, we're going to go across the internet to connect to this phone system. Uh, your specific in instance might be a bit different. It might be a local PBX. It might be a local IP address. It might be a remote IP address. Regardless, again, contact your service provider, contact your vendor, make sure you've got that information, your phone administrator, anybody that might have that information without a host, you're um, not going to have much success. We'll just change the server expiration date here to 1800 seconds as well. And now the last thing we want to do is just activate this line. We'll just make it enabled and then confirm all the settings here. Phone is registering and registered. So your register status right here is critical. If you don't have a registered status, then you're not going to be able to make and take phone calls. And from here on out, we should be able to use the phone on the cloud service. Again, we're connected to the Voice One Connect Cloud, registered to that as extension 3403 in this instance. If you want to learn more about the Voice One Cloud service, check us out at accentvoice.com. And you can see all kinds of different uh, information regarding that cloud service specifically. We're going to head back to the phone real quick, quick and just check it out as it's registered and confirm that our setup was successful. Well, that was it. Nice and easy setup of the T26 Yealink IP phone here. Again, as I mentioned in the intro, uh, the all the other T20 series, uh, the interface is very similar. Uh, the, uh, the the phone you, user interface for setup, uh, you can use uh, similar credentials for your um, you know, cloud or your on-premise PBX for the SIP credentials for setup of all, all those different phones. So we showed you the T26, but the, again, the interfaces are very similar for the uh, 22, 29, any of the other T20 series phones as well. Uh, so you can use the same steps basically, regardless of you know kind of how your your phone model breaks down. Uh, just a side comment here: the uh, Yealink, uh, not only the T20 series, but all the Yealink models are fully supported on the Voice One Connect Cloud phone system. So if you've got a Yealink phone and you're interested in a cloud service for it, I would uh, invite you to check out uh, www.accentvoice.com where you can learn more about our cloud services and uh, see if it's a good fit for your Yealink phones if you're interested in uh, taking these great uh, VoIP devices here and, and using a great cloud service with it. Now, I want to thank you for checking out our video and um, we'll, uh, you can check out our YouTube page for uh, more VoIP product and uh, how-to guides and uh, product reviews and comparisons. We've got a lot of great content there, and I would uh, invite you to check that out as well. This has been Chris with Accent. Thanks for watching.